So the question for Martin is, if people are using lactated ringers more often, is that going to mess up your ability to trend lactates in septic patients and other sick folks? LR, uh, you know, remember the, the lactate and lactic acid are two different things. One has an HI and one does not, right? So uh, you're not going to lower the pH with lactated ringers. So if anybody tries to tell you that, that's absolutely not true. Will you raise the lactate? Yes, you might raise it a little bit. But as long as they have a functional liver, that's going to still clear pretty quickly. So um, are you going to um, disrupt that ability to trend lactates? Yeah, you, you might. I mean, I, I pretty much go with normal saline to start with the chloride as well. I, I, you know, I don't think we need to throw that in the trash can just yet. Um, but if the chloride is high, I generally switch, switch to LR. Um, and don't forget, I mean, we can, we can monitor more than just the lactate. I mean, mental status, uh, how does the patient look, your clinical metrics, not just the lactate. Lactate is not the be-all, end-all. So, um, yeah, you might disrupt that, but your pH is going to be fine. I'm in close agreement with Rich. It, it messes you up a little bit, but the amount that you're changing is pretty small. For the most part, I don't care about your lactate going from 5 to 5.3. I care about it going from 5 to 8. And for the most part, the amount that you're going to get through LR is not going to significantly change it enough to where I care about it. Um, and I also agree that it's a little early to throw away normal saline. Uh, I'm a big fan of LR, um, but especially if they have hypochloremia, um, I think that normal saline is okay. Um, if they have hyperchloremia already, you're probably going to make them worse with a hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis. So particularly for your folks that are already acidotic, I like LR a lot. Um, there's not great patient-centered outcome data on this. There was a, a recent trial, I think it was the SPLIT trial, if I'm not mistaken, that didn't show an obvious um, statistical benefit to it. There were trends with um, LR towards decreasing um, the uh, mortality of folks, but um, it was not proven as hypothesized that it, it injured the kidneys, which was the, the big thought that people that got too much normal saline would have a lot of dialysis um, or increased renal failure, things like that. That wasn't really borne out, but there was a decent trend towards the people getting LR not dying as often, uh, which I care a little bit more about than kidney health, to be honest. Remember that trial, they weren't septic patients. They were right. post-op patients. So we're talking about a different patient population. Also, one other word about LR has potassium in it, so they're hyper-K. Maybe, maybe not go with, with LR. So that, that's probably the big thing to watch out for is the fact that you've got K. You're not going to get in as much trouble with normal saline if you have no idea what's going on with the patient. So if you all resuscitate with me, you'll often say I start with normal saline because I'm less likely to really screw the pooch. And then later, once I have my point of care BMP back, I'm like, okay, their, their potassium's not 7. I'm not doing anything dumb. Now I can start my LR a little bit more cautiously.